Oh my goodness, we are hanging out with our friends at Sunday's Soda Fountain. We have soda jerk Ben. It's his birthday. Happy so birthday. happy birthday. <laughs> and we have Satara in here with us. Hi. Okay, I'm so excited. Ben has hot chocolate for us. So, okay, tell us about this. What goes in this fabulous drink? So our hot chocolate, we use a really good, thick, decadent chocolate. Yeah. And you'll see our soda jerks will actually froth the milk. And you can use, you know, whole milk. We have oat milk, almond milk, and we make our whipped cream in-house. And so that's just the beginning. What we yeah. started doing now, because tis the season for hot chocolate, and we love to go a little over the top, we'll see the- I love over the top. Wh who so doesn't? Like with, 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 I mean- It's perfect with hot chocolate. Everything over the top is better. So Ben likes to dress it up with maybe marshmallows, maybe some chocolate, yeah. and, and we love a little fire. Okay, I'm like- Are you ready? <laughs> ready? Are you ready? Let's okay, go. let's make sure it's on. Oh, it's, there we go. it's okay. Here we go. This is why they don't give me the, the torch. And, oh. and this is, oh no, and no, 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 I have more. <laughs> it would have been live TV, y'all, let me tell you, if something didn't happen while well, we, we figure out the butane situation. You guys have a lot going oh, wait. on over at Sundays. Did we okay. get it? Y'all, this is the, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. we did it. All right, y'all ready? Go for it. Okay, Here we, Ooh, go. we get a nice little toast So this is like entertaining. Oh yeah. And do y'all do this like in front of everybody? We, we sure do. do. Oh wow. So it's like a show as you get, I love oh, that. Whoop. It's okay. Have a little fun with it, yeah. Yep. I like marshmallow super toasty, so that's absolutely perfect. And, and you gotta have more. If you want more, you just say, can you top that off a little bit more? Yeah. Add a little chocolate or add something else. We have yeah. whoppers, we have any kind of topping you would like. It's kind of like Candyland over there. It's like I whatever you that. want, we can make it happen. That's perfect. So we have about, I think, two minutes. And you guys have a lot of events coming up we over sure do. on Sundays. Tell us about this. So if you want to try our hot chocolate, we have two great events coming up right now. We have the Grinch on the 17th come by, it's just a meet and greet, but we do have a prize. It's an activity kit that we'll be giving away. The Grinch will do Aww. a drawing for kids. And so it'll be a lot of fun. You come out, have some hot chocolate, eat some food, get some beignets, meet the Grinch, take a picture, and then, you know, maybe win a prize. I love that. It's gonna be great. And on the 20th, we have Mrs. Claus visiting for the first time, and she's gonna come and read stories and, and sing and dance with the kids. We're gonna also have hot chocolate again, because oh, how could perfect. we not? And we would like to introduce our new white chocolate hot chocolate. Um, what? If you like white chocolate, this is going to be super decadent and it's going to be delicious. So that's something we'll showcase on the 20th yeah. with Mrs. Claus. Yes. So I what, what gave you guys the idea of like, you know what, we have hot chocolate, why mm -hmm. not white chocolate? So we have white chocolate in house. We would make our, our sundaes. We have yeah. toppings with white chocolate and we thought, you know, why not? We like to be a little extra and little extra. So. Why not? I love <laughs> Why this. not? I love this. And so I love the marshmallow, like the toastiness of these it's marshmallows. So then you did a fabulous Thank job you. getting Thank those you. all nice and toasty. I love the mm -hmm. smell. Like mm -hmm. in house, it does like smell campfire. delicious. Yes, oh really my good. gosh. We love that. Okay. For those at home who don't know where you're located. Mm. We are downtown. We're at 431 Jefferson Street, right next door to the Science Museum. You can't miss us. And so if you're down there, Children's Museum, Science Museum, Sundays, that tends to be a great little destination site. Yeah. There's a lot of shops downtown as well. So if you're looking at getting some last minute shopping done, you can pop in and see us before or after doing that as well. I, I love that. And we have more with Sundays coming up. You guys give us a preview of 15 seconds of what else you're making today. Salted caramel espresso martini. And we're also going to feature Ben's birthday drink. Yes, I cannot. That's a secret. Wait. Stay tuned. It's a secret. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Let's check in with Adam Olivia. Welcome back. We have some delicious drinks for you guys today. We are hanging out with our friends over at Sunday's Soda Fountain, Satara and Soda Jerk Ben. Okay, Ben, what are you making right now? Right now I'm working on a salted caramel espresso martini. This sounds absolutely amazing. Yes. What goes in this? So we have our, our signature espresso martini um, yeah. that is already really popular. I think we were voted as one of the best. I think they just really? had to say one of the best, right? But yeah. we, we probably think we have the best espresso martini in town. We use really um, fresh um, Orleans coffee and it's wow. a fresh espresso pool. Or espresso, espresso pool. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then what we do, oh, look, let me get there, spoon, we go. there we yeah, go. Yeah, what if we like spoon it in live TV, y'all? I know, it's just been a whole thing today. <laughs> so we have our, our, our house made espresso martini and we thought, well, let's make that a little bit jazzier too. Okay. And one of our soda jerks, and I told Ray I had to give him credit because Ray's he watching. Yeah, he, he's, he's watching. Um, and it's, 
it's, it's been, been a hit. so Recently popular. Hit. Oh, yeah. It's so sounds popular. delicious because everyone loves like salted caramel. Right. And, but put it with espresso and in a martini. I mean, that's just next level. It is. It's it's amazing. And so I was like, okay, I'm a believer. Awesome. <laughs> I tried it and it's awesome. Um, people come in and try one. They tend to also get another one. Get another like, one. Not. It's really, really good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So obviously you have the caramel. Mm -hmm. You have, I'm assuming, espresso. Sea salt. Yeah, of course. Sea salt. Where's our espresso pool? You already poured it. That's oh, it's right, right here. There. So, okay, wait, these cups are adorable. Let's talk about these cups for a second because they are the cutest. Look at how so cute. Sierra's gonna get a little baby bump shot yes, on this little, like, okay, you guys serve to go espresso? We with sure this? do. We have a service window, but people pop in all the time. You can sit on the patio as well, but if anything, come for the cute cup. Oh my god, like this is adorable. You can get a bunch of these and maybe like hang them on a Christmas tree too. That's a good idea. Like, that's, that's a great really idea. Cute. We can put some on our Christmas tree. We sure tree. can. <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> Come by and see our new, our new decorations I on our tree. It. I love it. Okay, so the espresso's in there. What is this? Just a little simple syrup. Little okay. Give it a little bit of a do sweet taste. Do y'all make that in house too? We sure we make our simple syrup in house. Y'all do everything in house. We try to do as much as we um, we can without going crazy, but yeah. we, we do a lot. Um, I love that though. Yeah, we really do. And are see. you ready for the shake? Oh yeah, of Always course ready it has for a of course shake. it has vodka. Let's see. And I'm assuming you should make this without the vodka too. You could. You could, yeah. but yeah. it'd be a little bit a mocktail. I mean, yeah, mocktail. sure. Okay. That'd be interesting. That's a yeah. great That'd one. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. then take it away. So many good ideas. I love that. I'm gonna put a little bit more in here. You could never have too much caramel. Oh, no. I mean, it's just so let's go. Look at that. I mean, if Adam and I did that. I forget the most important part, the salt. Yes. Oh, oh that's salt. Yes. You can oh add some to the gosh. shaker, too. And this is just really pretty. That sounds amazing. What's it go in? like the process for you guys to create these delicious mm. concoctions. I mean, is there a lot of like trial and error? Or do you make some, you're like, oh, maybe not this one. Let's let's try a different version. Sometimes, but usually um, because we have so many different flavor profiles from the ice cream um, creations to the coffee, yeah. to the libations and everything in between that you have so many different ideas that you can come up with. Yeah. So we had to limit it. So now every soda jerk gets their own special, usually on their birthday month. So I that's why that. Ben has his special coming up that he will present soon. And it's going to run for a month. And the soda jerks get to really have, um, you know, their personal input. It's completely specific to them and their personalities. Yeah. And so it's something that gives them a platform to showcase that. I love that. This looks stunning. And you, of course, topping it with, I guess, coffee beans or espresso yes, beans? Yes, espresso Ooh. beans. Three beans. This looks really good, Ben. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. My <laughs> Gosh, I'm going to try Ray this. Will be we, proud. we have to check in with Adam Olivier. Adam, what you got over there? Welcome back. We're hanging out with our friends from Sunday's Soda Jerk, Ben and Satara. Y'all, I'm so excited because now we get to feature oh, yeah. Soda Jerk Ben's special. What was it called? Your, your oh, This is a very special one. Yeah. It's our Soda Jerk special. I love this. Yes. It's Tell my us birthday about drink. this. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. So... <laughs> The idea behind it, we've never done, I don't think we've ever done a pear syrup before. No, this we've is our first time. We've never featured a pear syrup, mm -hmm. so whenever Ms. Atari told me about that, I was like, let's make a drink with it. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah. so I decided to do a pear, vanilla, and gin cocktail for my birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for this. You had me at pear and then again at gin. Yes. So, okay. It's a great seasonal flavor that's yeah. not overdone, right? A lot of places have these same flavors over and over, and that can get boring. And so we thought the pear and vanilla would be a great yeah. Um, new seasonal. Yes. That and could be something to explore. The thing with these specials, it's only for the month of uh -huh. the birthday. That's right. right? Next month okay. is yes. so Oh my gosh. So um, we decided to call it Champagne Problems. That's the name of the, um, the drink. I love it. Thank you, thank <laughs> I, you. Oh, yes. ask him about his inspiration okay, for that. Inspiration. <laughs> so uh, I named it, me and Taylor Swift share a birthday. Okay. It's my favorite artist, so yes. Um, so I named it after one of her songs, Champagne Problems. I love Problems. that. Yes. It's a perfect name for it. Yes. It really yeah. is. It really yeah. is, because we do top it with Prosecco, yes. so <laughs> it's, it's delicious. It's delicious. You had me at gin, <laughs> pear, and now Prosecco. I'm yes. excited. <laughs> okay, Ben, go ahead and shake it up. It's all the bubbly goodness. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, and then I see another little extra mm -hmm. item right here. So, for the longest time, Ben's been saying, you know, we really need a sparkly, glittery drink. And so I kept saying, you know, for your birthday, your birthday. When's your birthday again? December? Okay, hang on, it's coming up. <laughs> and we thought, well, now's the time. Now's the time. <laughs> if ever. Yeah. Can't take it back now. No, this <laughs> year. Let's see this. And it's just beautiful. Yeah, so making, you made the pear simple syrup. 
Well, so I have to say, this is the one that we did not make okay. in-house. That This was a pretty last minute. I was going to say, that must be, like, that would be hard to... We can, we could, but we did not yes. do it that for this like one. It, it would be labor. That looks beautiful. Yes, yes. Thank yes. You, but thank it's beautiful. You. It really is. It's a, it's a nice one. It's a really high quality one. Wait, this is really precise on. with the glitter dropper. <laughs> I love this. Oh it's really... Gosh. Oh, a little bit of spill. Are you going to top it with this? That looks so pretty. And if you look, you kind of have to see it in person. Oh, you have to get a there really close yeah. up. See, oh my oh goodness, my it's gosh. gorgeous. It's so pretty. It looks like a like a fancy elixir. It it oh really it does. does. I love her. And you then know, we talk um, with a little bit of. Come in and try it. We're also going to post on on our social media. So if you don't follow us yet, please check us out. We're on Instagram yeah. and Facebook. Um, and I hear we're on TikTok as well. I hear we're on TikTok. Photojerks have their own um, TikTok apparently for Sundays. <laughs> I, I love that. Can I try it? Of course. I would oh love for gosh. you to try it. Let oh. me know. I'm so that looks, excited. That looks I'm special. a gin girl. So this is, y'all look at how beautiful it's this very is. very pretty. So what made you go, I know like, what made you choose gin as your drinks? We mm. know why you chose the pear. So I, first time I ever tried gin was a couple months ago actually. Yes. <laughs> is this it good? Is isn't it? Oh my gosh. It's so like light and like delicate, but still very seasonal. It is. Thank and you, you know, you. what I love about gin too is that it fits our, our aesthetic. It's mm, a prohibition mm. special. Mm -hmm. We're a 2030s soda fountain era concept. And gin is just so, um, it, it's just, it fits our, our platform in every single way. Yeah. And so it goes well with a lot of our libations. It's perfect. We're mm. out of time, but stay with us. We'll be right back mm. after this. All right, Adam, thank you. If you're looking for a place to go get a good libation, head over to Sunday's Soda Fountain. What's that address and website? 431 Jefferson Street, right next door to the Science Museum. And you can find us online at Sunday's Soda Fountain, down, or Sunday's Downtown, either one. Go visit them if you haven't already. All that info is right there. We'll see you guys right back here tomorrow.